The AICPA has stipends available. We have $40,000 a year stipend for the education. So if it's a full-time job, you will not be able to do anything else. Or go the path I'm going, which is round out your education, which you guys have done, take it, go through a master, become CPAs, move in the career, and come back when you're back. It's fun. It really is fun. It's frustrating. It really is frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> So the boys to be doing this here. Um, the last thing, uh, good, I'm at my last point. If I gave you one piece of advice, if you wanted a CNN sound bite-ish thing, I'm going to give it to you. If you're going to become anything in this profession, seek and be sought. Seek and be sought. Seek everything you can to learn and grow. Follow the examples, learn from the bad examples, find mentors, people who will help you in your career. Not help you by getting you a job, okay? That helps. Help. Really take an interest in your career that will give you advice. Sometimes hard, cruel advice. I, I was told, the hardest thing I was told, you're not timing material. Okay, so I went to Time Warner Cable. Got the job and I went back to that guy at a, at a function and said, hey, I'm the CFO of uh, Manhattan. <laughs> he got fired because you know why? He wasn't timing material. <laughs> <laughs> Seek and be sought. To, for people to reach out to you is a sign of your success, your leadership, your confidence. You know, it comes a point in your career where the best guy with a spreadsheet, the best guy who does a spreadsheet is great. You can leverage that and train people to do that. If I took you guys and made you guys spreadsheet experts, I've just levered my knowledge dramatically. Have people seek you out. Once that happens, you're going to sit there and say, my God, I got, I've accomplished what I set out to do. All right, so seek and be sold. I rambled. Usually my accounting class is asleep at this time, so. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to thank you. I hope it helped. I hope I, hope I gave you some advice. Uh, you can always send me a note. It's F. Holman at ODU. Send me a note. Anything you don't understand. No transcripts. And this video will be burned. <laughs> right? Was this supposed to be burned? No. <laughs> <laughs> this video will not appear anywhere else. YouTube. YouTube. Okay. Guys, <laughs> you have any questions at all? I'd be glad to answer. I was wondering what, uh, when you were went for your MBA, why you went that route versus an accounting That's a good, you know something? That's a great question. Um, I had at that point 25 years of accounting experience. If you haven't figured out I have an ego, I've got an ego. The master's, the, the undergraduate degree in 1980 covered a lot of the master's degree. I just did not have the heart to do that. But the MBA gave me a good general background and validated so much for that time. Uh, you know, I got to a point where accounting is an issue. As, as vice president of business operations, and in my new role with my consulting company, I do everything. I'm an HR guy. I'm an operations guy. I'm not an accountant. So the MBA gave me that sort of filled in a couple of gaps, gave me some more marketing skill and things like that. Uh, that's, a, that's a great question. And if you're pursuing academics long term, the master's in accounting is clearly the way one. I've had to overcome a lot of it. Again, OU has been working about that. That's a great, that was a very good question. Oh, come on, guys. This is like my accounting class. Go ahead. I thought about it for a bit. I think the most relevant question I can ask you is, what was your favorite comic line? Uh, OK, I'll give, uh, anyone else have other questions? I will, I will give you, I have a story about this about my accounting class in 1976. <laughs> I didn't hope you would have you got it. Anyone have a real, God, honest to God, <laughs> there's no such a thing as a stupid question, but you're on the borderline right there. <laughs> Anyone? I'll tell the story, because this is, this is um, one of my dearest, dearest friends. Usher in my wedding, friends to this day, godfather of all my children. We were in accounting class together. We met in accounting class at Brooklyn College, and the two of us are in accounting class. It's our second class. Okay, so it's the 202 equivalent. We're in the class, we're having a great time. And we are cut-ups. I don't take it seriously. I don't care neither the team. 
I get told on, and I have to explain the Social Security Act of 1934. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to ramble the story quick. <laughs> so I explain, out with no factual knowledge, five-minute dissertation on the Social Security Act of 1934. Don't know anything about it since. <laughs> he gets up, opens his textbook, writes in the textbook, slams the book shut, slides it under me. Says, Frank, you are a reflex accountant. I quit. His career path at that moment changed. He has written about this in the Book of College Alumni Magazine because he is the publisher of DC Comics. Yes. So if you're a comic fan, Dan DiDio is one of my closest friends. And Dan pursued a career in communications, entertainment, but determined that day to be leading the comic industry. So I am a sushi paid consultant to DC Comics. I fly up, I give them advice. So I'm a Superman, Batman guy. The new 52, read it. <laughs> 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 so 